All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna install this Gerben 12 volt panel mount on my 2020 Streetlight CBO that you see right there. And I'm gonna talk about why I'm doing this install and why you should too. So welcome back, FNR here, AKA Fly and Ride 15. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, now on this channel, I focus on motor vlogs, ride videos, ride reviews, all on my 2020 Streetlight CBO uh, that you see right here. I also feature cinematic drone footage, fly my DJI Mavic 2 drone. I do product upgrades like this one, test rides, reviews, all things Harley Davidson, and also from time to time, testing out other bikes uh, on the channel. So do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of content like this one. So, why am I installing this 12 volt panel mount permanently right there on my 2020 CBO? So obviously, uh, I am here in the Northeast. It is uh, bitterly cold and uh, I try to ride, frankly, throughout the entire winter. Unless there's snow and ice or it's just bitterly cold uh, or there's a lot of salt on the ground, I will get out there and ride and get you some amazing, amazing footage on all of the videos that you're seeing here on the channel. So because of that, one of the ways that we extend our season here in the Northeast is through heated gear. So I have the, uh, the Gerben jacket here, which you can see has all these plugs for gloves. This plugs to what I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Uh, and then I also have my heated gloves right here which uh, connect to uh, the jacket. And then on top of that jacket, I basically put a jacket over it. I have layers underneath, all depending on the conditions that we're gonna be riding. One of the major reasons that I hear on all of the YouTube videos why folks do not try heated gear is because they hate all of these wires hanging out, right? And in many cases, what I've seen on most of the installs out there online, folks install the actual wire harness that is already connected to this bike, which by the way, I should have started with that. In order for you to do this particular install, you have to already have it uh, wired with the Gerben wire harness directly to the battery, which you can see is right here. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here in a minute. And look, uh, my buddy Nadal is the one that thought of this idea. Uh, have you seen him in all of my videos before? Uh, I absolutely love the way this came out. And you're gonna see how cool this looks and how functional this is uh, as I take you through this install. So let me jump right in. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's take the seat off here. I had already, uh, I had already loosened it. So this is the actual piece that's gonna go installed there. And the tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need uh, obviously a drill, some drill bits, uh, some uh, blue tape, and definitely some, uh, some electric tape. Uh, and that's it. It's gonna be a pretty simple and straightforward uh, install. So, so this is the setup that I have now, right? So this is, the, this is how it's wired currently. And here's, you know, you can tell right here, right? So this stuff is typically hanging, you know, while I'm riding the bike. Uh, and in some cases, it gets stuck here. As a matter of fact, this happened to me already. I closed the lid on it, not knowing, because I'm, you know, with a jacket, bulky. Uh, it's also touching the paint in some cases. And in many cases, you see that here, and it actually scratches the paint on the gas tank. That's the reason why I'm doing it. And there's a lot of different ways for you to do this. Uh, but again, my buddy Nadal thought of a pretty awesome idea to install this uh, 12 volt panel permanently here. So that way, that part right there is the only thing that you see. And then all we have to do whenever we wanna you know, connect the heated gear is plug the heated gear directly into this plug right here. So, so that's the install that we're gonna do here. Again, it's relatively simple. Uh, all I have to do is uh, take the original wire that's here, take some of the zip ties off, and then just sort of run it internally here. So that way, I have some room here, and then this particular panel goes right in through here, and I'm actually gonna show you the way it comes out. See it right there? Right there. This comes out right through here, and we're gonna run this wire 
We're gonna run this wire neatly underneath here. We're gonna zip tie everything. We're gonna connect it here. And that's it. Once I connect it here, I'm gonna start drilling it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how that goes here. I'm gonna show you the full install here. So in case you wanted to do it at your house, uh, and then I'm gonna show you how cool this ultimately looks once, uh, once it's done. So that's it, that's all that it takes. Let me show you the process now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a very small uh, drill bit right in the center of this uh, area here. I already measured this before, and I would suggest that before you, before you mark the spot where you're gonna drill in this panel right here, uh, you wanna make sure that you actually plug it in, make sure it's the right distance uh, from the gas, uh, from the gas tank, from the seat, and make sure that nothing is ultimately touching before you commit to, to drilling. I've done that already, uh, so I'm gonna start drilling. Start in the center, uh, and then I'm just gonna continue to increase the diameter until it's right at the size of that nut that you saw in the 12 volt panel. And I'm just gonna rush, I'm not gonna rush my way uh, into this, I'm gonna go slowly increasing uh, the diameter. You can tell this is a little bit bigger. All right, this is a little bit bigger here. You can tell this is why you put tape on there. I actually just touched it with the drill. Let's put one more just in case because I was a little too close to comfort. All right, so this is still... Let me show you that real quick, up close. Let's see it right there. All right, so let's see if this is gonna fit here already. All right, so that hole I think is the exact size that we need. And that's a, a 5 16 uh, drill bit. I think this is gonna be the right size. That's perfect, right there. So you see it's sticking out of there. So now all we're gonna do is tighten this bad boy up here. That tape is off. This goes right here, in any direction that you want it. I like it that way so it's not sticking out. Tighten it. All right, so this switch over here that you're seeing, see it right here? That's for my uh, XK Glow Kit. Turns it on and off. It actually goes connected right here so I could easily turn it on. I had to remove that while I uh, did this uh, install, so I'm just uh, I'm just connecting it back up here now. So now I'm, all I'm gonna do now is just, um, just reroute this wire. I'm gonna run it underneath like that so it's not in the way. I'm going to tape that up with electrical tape. Make sure that that doesn't come loose. And actually before I do that, I'm actually gonna test it and make sure that I've got power. All right, so now that it's done, let me show you up close what it looks like. I mean, you can't even tell that it's there. I mean, that's the cool thing about it. It just looks completely stealth. No wires running anywhere. No wires coming out of here. I think it's an awesome, awesome solution. So let me show you how it works. I've got the jacket on now. This is the plug that I usually run, that I usually have to come back here with wires everywhere. No more. So look how easy this is, right? So you're here, you flip it up, and that's it. You're connected. Super simple. And more importantly, you see this wire? not touching anywhere, basically touching your body. It's not touching the gas tank. And that's, again, one of the most important reasons why this is a really good idea to use your heated gear. Smooth, stealth, very hidden, very functional, and very inexpensive. Now, once you're done, let's say, let's say you just stop riding. Boom, done. Cover it right up, and that's it. It is that simple. All right, so that's gonna do it for this short video. Hopefully you found that helpful. Do me a favor, let me know down in the comments below if anybody has tried this approach before. If you have any other recommendations of how you wired your heated gear, let us know down, let me know down in the comments below. Again, I am super, super happy with the way that this came out. I am typically not a big fan of doing anything permanently to the bike, but the good thing is I can always order a, a, a new one of these, take that off, put it back on and it's like I never did anything. So, and it really allows me a great way to connect my heated gear 
without all of the fuss of all of the wires uh, sort of touching and scratching the bike uh, potentially. So do me a favor, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of content like this one in the future. Thanks for watching.